everybody! I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are continuing on with our dimensional analysis series. This is going to be like the second video, so if you haven't seen the beginner video, watch that one first, and then if you're ready to move on to something a little bit more challenging, it's going to be this video, okay? So in the first video, in the beginner video, I have dimensional analysis equations set up with two parts. In this video, we're going to have three and even four part equations. So, let's get into it. Okay, let's try our first problem. The patient is prescribed medication A, PO daily. You have medication A, 250 milligram capsules, and they want to know how many capsules are you going to give. So we're looking for capsules, right? So capsules will go in our answer. And if it's going to be in our answer, it's going to be in our numerator, so our top number. And where do we see it in the problem? Here. So one capsule is the same as 250 milligrams. And now we have to convert milligrams to grams. That's why this is a three-step problem, because of the conversion. So how many milligrams are in a gram? 1,000 milligrams is the same as one gram. And then what is the patient prescribed? Two grams. So we'll put two grams over one. Now we can start canceling stuff out. So we'll cancel out milligrams. We'll cancel out grams. And that leaves us with capsules, which is what we want. So we had it all set up, we crossed everything out, now we just got to do the math, right? So punch it into your calculator or even do it in your head, and it's eight. So eight capsules daily. I know that almost seems like, oh my god, that's so many capsules. But we're asking per day. So how many pills is this person taking a day? Eight. Let's do another one. Our next problem is with micrograms to milligrams. So we have the patient, they're prescribed medication B, 0 0.175 milligrams PO daily. Available is medication B in 88 micrograms per tablet. How many tablets should the nurse administer? So what are we looking for in our answer? We're looking for tablets, right? So we'll put it over here. And if it's in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator, right? So we'll put it over here. So where do we have information about tablets? Right here. So one tablet is the same as 88 micrograms. What do we know? We want to give 0 0.175 milligrams. And now we got to convert micrograms to milligrams. So there are 1,000 micrograms in one milligram. So this is our converting equation. Then we'll cancel out micrograms, cancel out milligrams, and then the only thing left is tablets. And then you punch it into your calculator, you do the math, and you get two. So we're going to be giving two tablets to this patient. Let's do one more in this format. So the patient is prescribed medication C two grams per day in two divided doses. The amount available is medication C, 500 milligram tablets. How many tablets should the nurse administer per dose? So what are we looking for in our answer? Tablets, so we'll put it over here. So if it's in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator, right? And where do we see it in our problem? Here, so one tablet, is 500 milligrams. What is the prescription? Two grams a day. And then what's our converting factor? Milligrams to grams, right? So one gram is 1,000 milligrams. So milligrams will cancel, grams will cancel, and we'll end with tablets per day in our answer. 
and when you do the math, you get 4. Now, the question was not asking tablets per day, right? It was asking tablets per dose. So how many doses are we giving in one day? Two, right? Because it's two divided doses. So there is an extra step with this. So all we have to do is divide this by two, and then we get two tablets per dose. So I don't want you to get confused. I think you get comfortable with this part, and you get your answer, and you'll say, yes, they're getting four tablets a dose. They're getting four tablets total in one day. They're getting two tablets with each dose. Now let's move on to some with um, milliliters. Now let's do a few with MLs. So the nurse is preparing to administer medication A, 3.1 grams by IV bolus over 30 minutes. Available is medication A, 3.1 grams in 50 mLs, 0.9% sodium chloride. The nurse should set the IV pump to deliver how many mLs an hour? So what are we looking for in our answer? mLs per hour. So we're going to have mLs in our numerator and hour in our denominator, so we need to find that in our equation. So the first part, let's put mLs in our numerator, and where do we find that? Here. So 50 mLs, 3.1 grams. What else do we know? We know that there is 3.1 grams over 30 minutes. And now the last thing we need to do is get hours in our denominator. How do we do that? By using the converting factor of hours to minutes, right? So we need to put 60 minutes equals one hour. So now our minutes will cancel, our grams will cancel, this leaves us with mLs over hours, just like we wanted. And then you punch it in, you do the math, and you get 100. So we should set the IV pump to deliver 100 mLs per hour. Let's do just one more. This last one is going to be another mLs, and it's going to be via IM. So the nurse is preparing to administer medication B, 250 milligrams IM. Available is 3 grams per 5 mLs. How many mLs should the nurse prepare? So we want to do mLs. So that's our answer. So we need to have it in our numerator. And where do we see it? We see it right here. So 5 mLs, 3 grams. And then what do we have available to us? 250 milligrams, right? 250 milligrams over 1. And then we need our converting factor of milligrams to grams. So 1 gram is 1,000 milligrams. So the grams will cancel, the milligrams will cancel, this will leave us with only mLs, and then you punch it in your calculator, you do the math, and you get 0.4 mLs. And you want to be careful when you get these numbers that they make sense, right? Just like you're not going to give an eighth of a tablet. You're not going to give somebody 100 mLs for an IM injection. So do pay attention to that part of the problem as well. Because this isn't like the last one where we were setting the pump, right? This is something we're giving one time into their muscle. And you're not going to give a huge number um, into the muscle. So 0.14 is a perfectly safe amount of mLs to give in somebody's muscle. Knowing converting factors is really important. And unfortunately, that's just something you kind of have to memorize. So like milligrams to grams, minutes to hours, kilograms to pounds. Those are just things we kind of have to know already in the back of our head. So when we get presented with these problems, we can use them as tools to help figure them out. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.